Hi, y'all. I'm Melissa Ushakov from the plant stage. And today I'm going to show you how to use projects and groups in GitLab to model out your organization as is prescribed by common scaled agile frameworks. So to start off, let's go over some quick definitions. So a team is a set of individuals that are working together to deliver stories or bugs. These teams are typically working in two week sprints or maybe one month long iterations. From there, you have teams of teams or programs which are working together to deliver features. Uh, typically, these are done on a quarterly basis and uh, there's interconnectedness between these teams and they're packaged up into a program. From there, we have teams of teams of teams or portfolios, which are um, groups of um, basically, and sometimes it's called a business unit, sometimes it's called, it's called a portfolio, but it's typically how funding is done uh, at an organizational level. Uh, so these concepts are not new by any means. Like I mentioned, they're uh, the constructs that are talked about in some of the common scaled agile frameworks. And um, this is something that can be easily modeled in GitLab using groups and projects. So in GitLab's projects are um, individual containers in which you can have issues and groups are collections of projects in which you can create epics and also um, have aggregation of projects. So you can already see how these concepts are similar um, to teams and the aggregations of teams. And now I'm going to show you how to use these two to model out an organization in GitLab. So you can see here, I've created a company called Melissa Inc. <laughs> and there's two completely distinct organizations within it. Uh, you have uh, the healthcare branch of the company and the banking branch of the company. And then within it, you have portfolios and teams. Um, so everything here that you see that has a folder is a subgroup. So it's a collection of projects. And then the things that you have here that have a ribbon are teams uh, or projects. So as you can see, I've created a subgroup at the Melissa Inc. level to represent each of my organizations and a subgroup at the um, banking level or subgroup level to represent each of my portfolios. Uh, in this particular case, I've done a hierarchy that is three level deep, but there's a lot more flexibility with that depending on how complex your organization is. Uh, something that is uh, very interesting about doing this is that if you see here, by having all of my entire organization under the same group, I'm able to get a high level view into every epic and every issue uh, under this hierarchy. So that is extremely useful um, to have visibility into the entire organization. If I needed to create a new organization, I could go in here, click new subgroup and quickly create a new organization. If I wanted to create a new portfolio under each organization, I would go into here and then create a new uh, subgroup. If you notice, uh, when I go into the banking organization, the count of my epics is filtered down only to the ones that um, relate to uh, banking. So in the entire organization, there's seven, and in banking, there's only five. Uh, another advantage of um, organizing uh, your hierarchy this way is that you can have distinct members of each of these uh, projects and groups. So if there's somebody who is overseeing um, the entire company, so at C-level, they would be members directly of Melissa Inc. If there's somebody who is an organization leader, so like a VP level, they would be members of banking and they could see everything within it. And if there's individual contributors, let's say um, a product manager of the borrower group, they only can be added to this specific group so they can only see issues pertaining to their group. Um, so this is a high level introduction. I'll be recording more videos that show more of the functionality in detail. I'm also going to link to this an article uh, that another team level team member from GitLab wrote that goes into this concept in a lot more detail. Thanks for watching.